All right, so here we go. Last one of all the coding languages I know, Newton Rapson. So I've got uh, Arduino pulled up over here on the left, and I have uh, processing over here on the right. Um, if you don't know what an Arduino is, I suggest you Google it, or I will maybe put a link here. I doubt I will, though, because these videos are super long. Um, Without further ado, I'm just going to copy this, and um, it already has void setup and void loop here, so I'm just going to delete those and hit control V, and then just make sure to change this to void loop. Um, so uh, I'm going to save the sketch to the desktop. Um, I'm just going to put it in here. Oh, no, I didn't like that. Uh, save it as Newton Raffson. Can I just put it in the same folder? I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Uh, Newton Raffson, Arduino. There we go. Okay. Um, so let's see, float looks good. Um, I think, does, is, is, does this work? Let me, uh, let me verify. Like, is that gonna, no, that's gonna freak out. Um, fails to discern size of iters. Yeah, so it's, you don't do new float in, um, in Arduino. You just do, um, 100, like that. And then it'll, it'll know how big it is. Um, this looks good, this looks good. Uh, there is no size function. Um, I wanna do serial.print. Um, and so what I want to do is serial.begin9600. Um, and so um, what I can do is when I run the code, I can run serial monitor. Because remember, this in Arduino, okay, maybe I just need to, need to show you. Uh, can I just do like new window? Okay, so Arduino. Arduino CC. Um, so this is an Arduino. What is an Arduino? Uh, this is great. Can, can I just do an image search? Come on. Arduino. There you go. And then give me an image, boom. Okay, so this is an Arduino, right? That's a there it is right there. So it's a board with a microcontroller on it. Um, this is probably the, a better a better one. Here's an 18 mega 328 chip. So this is the microcontroller that's running everything. This is a USB port here. So I am I can't show you because I'm videotaping my screen. But basically, I'm going to have a cable running from here to the USB port on my computer. And so all of the code that I'm writing is going to run on this machine. And so I can't just do print, I have to do serial.print, and so when I click the serial monitor, the Arduino is going to send me uh, what it's doing. Uh, what I might even do is just throw in a delay of uh, 1,000 seconds, um, probably here. That way when I hit, when I hit go, uh, when I compile the code, I can have a second or two, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do 3,000 seconds. So I have, a se I have three seconds to open up the serial monitor so I can see what's going on. Um, it, I don't think st is string error. Okay, wait, hold on. So for, let, let's change let's change some stuff one at a time. So serial dot print um, delay if is good. Um, serial dot print line. Uh, this all looks good. This all there is no such thing as ellipse. So I don't need float x y. Um, so obviously I can't plot in Arduino because it's a microcontroller. Um, I can send the data from Arduino to processing and plot it. Um, but what's the point? Anyway, I'm going to close up processing because I already know it works. Um, let me see. Let me compile this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that, that string error doesn't work. Um, so we're just going to do... Uh, can I just do that? Will that work? No, because it's a character to binary. Oh, can I do this? I've never done this before. I'm just kind of messing things around. String was not... Can, what, what, I mean, can I do like a... Sketch tools, uh, sketch include library. Is there a string library? I thought strings were included. Tiny GPS string. Okay, I'm gonna pause it for a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out how to do this. Okay, so I I, I don't know why it took me this long to figure this out. Um, so you just do uh, serial dot print um, and see the slash n right. If you don't do a slash n, you can just do another serial dot print um, and then print the uh, error. And then I'm just gonna do print line, and so it'll automatically give me a slash in. Uh, so I'm gonna compile that, and it likes it, great. Um, it uses 13% of my memory storage. And then uh, I've, gotta, I've gotta grab my Arduino, let me pause it. Okay, so I just grabbed, um, I just plugged in my Arduino, it's plugged into one of my ports here. So I'm gonna do board, uh, the board is an Arduino, Genuino slash Genuino Uno. It's plugged into the ACM0 uh, port here. Um, on your computer, if you have a Windows machine or whatever, it's gonna be a different port. Um, anyway, so then I'm gonna hit verify one more time, upload, 
and then it's going to hopefully say done uploading. I'm going to hit the serial monitor. I'm in the baud rate of 9600. And uh, we're going to wait three seconds, and then there we go. There's the Arduino chugging along. Um, and it, it did exactly what we wanted it to do. Um, it's pretty neat. Um, you know, it'd be even more badass as if we, like, could type in an initial condition here, you know, and send it to the uh, the Arduino. Um, but that's uh, that's for later. You can you can watch other tutorials on Arduinos um, or post in the comments and tell me that you really like Arduino stuff and I'll maybe make some Arduino tutorials. Um, but there you go. So uh, this has been a, a fun journey. Um, basically, we uh, started with with LibreOffice, Newton Rapson, MATLAB, Mathematica, Python, R, Ruby, Perl, Bash, Fortran, C++, processing, done, and Arduino, done. So uh, post in the comments, tell me what you like, tell me what more you want to see, and um, I will uh, try to uh, accommodate you guys as best as I can. Happy coding.